The two-day regional e-conference organized by the East African Sub-Regional Support Initiative for Advancement of Women, ERC, in partnership with Urgent Action Fund for Africa, is aimed at assessing the implications of COVID-19 on women economic empowerment in East Africa. This conference, uh, our partners in Kenya, we have worked with the uh, IDA, Women's Development Organization. We've worked with the... Uh, uh, Lake, Friends of Lake Turkana and uh, also the Association of Media Women's Associations in Kenya. In Tanzania, we were working with the uh, Tanzania Media Women's Association and in Uganda, we've worked with FemThought and the uh, Platform for Labor Action. And the conference is specifically looking at the impact of COVID-19 on women's economic empowerment. Uh, as women, we play a special role in the development of our countries and also in terms of uh, our families. We are right at the nucleus of society. We are mothers, but also we are breadwinners. We work and we are employers and we also employ people. So uh, with COVID-19, a lot happened to the women and this is not being addressed. Uh, governments, of course, put restrictions on movement of persons. They put restrictions in terms of closing businesses. And most of the businesses that were affected are owned and run by women. So you find that uh, the big businesses continued running. And you know, when they closed the borders, the small traders couldn't cross. That's where the majority of women are in that business. Honorable Shira Kawamara Mishambi, the executive director for the East African Subregional Support Initiative for Advancement of Women, says the need to incorporate women voices in decision making when it comes to benefiting from the stimulus packages is one of the key recommendations on top of having all businesses, whether big or small, revived. Some of the key recommendations that are coming in is the need to incorporate women's voices into the decision making, particularly when they are talking about stimulus packages of the economy. Where are the women? Because when they talk about reviving businesses, they are mainly talking about big businesses. Those, most of these big businesses, true, they have suffered the impact of COVID-19, but uh, many of them co have continued operating. But nobody is yet talking about reviving the informal or small scale and medium scale uh, traders or uh, enterprises. And these are key, particularly given that we sustain our economy on those uh, enterprises. They are small, but when we put all of them together, they are really big and they support our economy. Despite the good intentioned measures set by government and the Ministry of Health to reduce the spread of the coronavirus pandemic, women traders and employees turned out to be the most largely affected. This conference is specifically focusing on women. One, we are not shy to say we are a women's organization and we represent women's interests. But more specifically is during the discussions around COVID-19. The women's voices have been uh, kind of silenced. We don't hear them. We are not hearing what is happening to the women, what is happening to their businesses, what is happening to their livelihoods. So we are focusing on that. And we believe that uh, uh, the, the men who are the majority in decision-making positions, of course, are representing the interests of the men. And we, as women, we are putting our interests on the table and we are asking to be listened to. For Smart24 TV, I'm Kamuya Tushabe with Joshua Tumwa.